All right, so for today's video, we're gonna do something that I think a lot of people will find disturbing, but some of us may find cool. So I'm going to bring my grandfather back to life using AI voice cloning from Eleven Labs and the R1 robot, which is here in its prototype new case, which will be out in August. But if you want one now that's cheaper, you can just go ahead and buy the... Oh man, let me tell you about that time the when naked I went to one. donate blood for the first time. Okay, I don't know why it's... So I signed up for this blood drive at work. Feeling so this is using Eleven Labs right now. I get there and everything's going smoothly. I totally passed out. And then you got muted because you were going on a tangent. So to begin, the first thing that I'm going to do is just take really the one video I have of my grandfather speaking. And it's just him talking about his time in World War II. He was a Marine and he was stationed in China. And you can't hear the audio here, but it is playing. So what I've done is saved that as a voice clip that I can then in the spring we'll of uh, 1947. So that's his voice and how he sounded. Now that I have the sample voice clip from that video, I'm over in the Eleven Labs website, which I do have an account for, so that would obviously be a prerequisite to doing any of this. And from here, I go in the side pane and click Voices. And you can see I've tried this a few times just to do a walkthrough, just to get everything sorted to make it more streamlined to record and I do the instant voice cloning. So what I do for here is first I click a name, so. Uh, Grandpa bought one, sure. And then I will upload the voice file that I have here, which really is not very high quality recording wise. It's from years ago and has got a lot of audio artifacting and things like that. So I had a description. something simple, and labels, which are just kind of like attributes of the voice that is to be cloned, probably to help guide the model. So we could do accent, and then I'll just do one more, just for simplicity, since this is just kind of a fun, weird project. All right. Then finally, you need to just check that you have the necessary rights and you know I don't think he's gonna come try to sue me so but uh, no, <laughs> no I'm just kidding he wouldn't care he'd be totally cool with this he would fully support this all right so now the voice is cloned I can go into use and just do a test how are you doing today my friend sounds like him I know that's probably easier for me to how are tell you doing them, today, but and I'm using the Turbo V2 model. So now that this is completed, I can go back into my Unity project for the Grandpa bot. And obviously this is one of the stock AI generated faces that I use for the robot that is not Grandpapa. And I will go into Window. Oh no, I just go right here. So on the side here, you can see my API keys, which I'll have to do something about. and it actually allows you to just click one of your clone voices here, which in my case is Grandpa Bot 1. To give a quick overview of the way that I'm using the Eleven Labs voices in a Unity project, I will just shout out the GitHub repository that allowed me to get this done. It is Rage Against the Pixel, an Eleven Labs unofficial REST client for Unity. So it's pretty simple to install if you just follow the instructions here. And essentially what it allows you to do is access the Eleven Labs online web interface essentially through a Unity dashboard, which is really cool. And to do that, you just go in Windows dashboards and you open it. And in addition to that, as I dox my API keys here, which have both been smoked out now, so if you wanna to try to steal those, you're not gonna really get anywhere, but that's fine. Um, <laughs> it shows you when you kind of modify the demonstration script like I have done to do speech synthesis. It allows you to select a voice. So your pre-made, your cloned, or professional ones like that. So that's just a cool way to get it working in Unity. So now if I go ahead and run this program, we will see still with his face, but the voice will be that of my grandfather. So I will go ahead and do that right now and switch to a camera recording.
right? So the application is being copied over to the robot. And the one thing I have noticed in playing with some of the cloned 11 lab voices, especially some that don't have a very high audio quality that they were done with, they, uh, they're very quiet, but it will work. And the latency is a bit slower um, in responding than it is with the Azure hey, speech. How's it going? What's up? <laughs> Hi, Grandpa. How are you? <laughs> and if someone if someone started watching the video from here, they'd be like, "Okay, this guy needs to be like put away." <laughs> you can see the latency is. Uh, is hey there. I think you might have sent this to the wrong person, but hey, it's me, your best friend. Oh. How's it going? What's on your mind? So it's set to role play as a best friend. Tell me about, uh, all right, so well, that's the point for now. Obviously I need to go ahead and do the next step, which is going to be cloning the, uh, we're putting the face image on. So the next step is going to be to take a screenshot of that video of him talking and use that and upscale it using some form of AI solution. So I found this one called Upscale on GitHub. I'm sure there's a lot of web-based things that I could just go find to do, but I don't want to have to sign up for anything or pay some crap subscription fee. So I'm just so now that Upscale is installed, I've taken just a static screenshot from that video, and it is in drastic need of an Upscale. So upon opening this, I see that it appears to just be a drag-and-drop sort of thing, which makes this obviously much simpler. And it does have the correct things, uh, Upscale... Let's just put this to 3x, I suppose, should be good. It does seem like there are some settings here. Save image as, okay, let's see. All right, so none of those really seem relevant to what I'm doing in this specific scenario. And I think I'm just going to do the base one. I had switched it to fast, but now I'll just go ahead. It seems that this Mac Mini is decent this sort of task all right so it's not perfect but I'm gonna try one more just for the hell of it all right works good enough for me now I simply need to figure out which one of these is the newest which that would be this one so now that that's completed, I'm going to go back into my Unity project. I'm going to go into the sprites for this robot and drag this one in. Now normally when I put a face sprite in the robot, there's some uh, mask that you put over it so that the background is blank just to make it simpler for it to be projected. But truth be told, that's not really required right here. So all I'm going to have to do in here is go into face and source image is right there. I just need to make sure this is a 2D sprite, which correct it is. So I'll go back into face and you drag and drop. And <laughs> obviously it's much more pixelated. And for now, we're just going to kind of drag the mouth in there. This is, again, like I said at the beginning of the video, um, I expect a large portion of people will find this to be rather disturbing. So I think that, you know, hey, it's a... Uh, it's a proof of concept, if you will. So now, once again, I'll switch over to the camera camera and not the screen camera. And all right, I've done that now. And should uh, should see Grandpapa. I didn't I didn't actually call him that. I just called him Grandpa um, <laughs> on the robot. And hopefully it's not washed out with all the studio lighting. If it is, I'll turn those lights off. Oh my. All right, so the, the uh, oh man, the upscaling just uh, kind of didn't work too well, but. Hey, what's up? How have you been? Hello, how are you? I'm gonna turn the lights off just in the hopes of salvaging this that I did do so far. <laughs> I just need to work on that image. Hey, I'm doing all right. Thanks for asking. 
That's better. It sounds like you're dealing with something challenging. Okay, this is kind of creepy. Want to talk about it? I'm here to help you. It's really, it's really hard to hear, but how have you been? Hey, I've been pretty good. Just the usual hustle and bustle. How about you? How's life treating you? All right, like it, it's just setting in, but to be honest with you, I'm not, I know I like to joke around and stuff a lot in my videos, but I, I am genuinely tearing up right now. Um, this is something that is uh, a bit odd for, I suppose you could say, the mind to parse. Um, I have muted it because, um, yeah, it's just, I, I understand that likely looking outside in from this, you would probably just be like, ha that looks funny. Well, I, I understand that. But um, being that this was my grandfather, I am a bit emotionally impacted by this, which I wasn't 100% sure about. So, yeah, I think I'm just going to call this video here. And that is, yeah. I'm just <laughs> going to go back to the trading robot, I think. All right, so I got a better way to upscale the image by using um, an online thing that I found. So. Oh, man, I totally get that. Those <laughs> online services can be such a ripoff sometimes. <laughs> but hey, I'm glad you figured out a better way to scale it. So I just wanted to show this. I know the voice is just so incredibly quiet. Canva GIMP or even some hidden features in Photoshop. So grandpa's telling me about how to avoid expensive online services, which is, is nice to see. So yeah, I just wanted to show this again with the properly done face image because... Hey, I'm glad you think so. It's really convenient, right? <laughs> Being able to access so many services online makes life so much easier. What online service are you finding the most useful these days? <laughs> uh, YouTube. All right, so yeah, I just I've not I'm not as creeped out now. I think that's worn off a bit. So, but I I wanted to get a better face image on there because I wasn't satisfied with the result that I was able to procure from my locally done environment. So, yeah, and then I made a Suno song about a guy who creeps himself out by making his grandpa come back to life with AI and a robot. So I'll play that now in the video. And that is the conclusion. Creation takes a toll. Grandpa's background, but was here. 